Hello and welcome to today's show. My name is Chelsea Curley and I am from Team Thompson. Today I'm going to introduce you to another one of our very special club members. Her name is Alina and she is a mum of five from Florida. She's going to share with you her very special journey on how she is now successfully breastfeeding baby number five after quite a lot of challenges and un unsuccessful breastfeeding journeys with her previous four. Stay tuned and wait until the end of the video. You're going to learn lots about why preparation during pregnancy is very important. You're going to hear her very beautiful three golden hours story. And of course, you're going to learn how Alina implemented those very key principles of the Thompson Method. If you're watching from YouTube, please do like and share this video and hit that bell to subscribe so that we can reach as many women and families as possible. Here I am with the very lovely Alina herself. So here I am with the very lovely Alina. Thank you so much for joining us. I am so excited to share your journey today. So am I, I'm very excited. Yes, and this is your chance to, to share how your fifth baby has been such a different experience to your previous four, right? We were talking before on on how traumatic it was actually and how scared you were to give it another go. Yes. Um, the first four, I felt like um, it was me. I felt like it wasn't really so much the way they were taught, teaching me, but like it was my body, my nipples were too sensitive. Like I couldn't do it because it was because I was in pain. But, um, but I decided with my fifth child that I should try to, I wanted to give it another goal, but this time I decided to do some research and um, that's when I found the Thompson method, actually just Googling for a better way to breastfeed. Instead you actually of found the, the online program during your pregnancy, right? So you were super yes. fed. Yes. I, um, I'm a very big planner, so I like to plan ahead. I feel more confident, more comfortable when I am prepared for something rather than um, last minute. So I definitely was, okay, let's find something. I need something to work because I really want to make breastfeeding work this time. And, um, and I think I was like 30 weeks or 25 weeks pregnant when I found the Thompson Method. So it helped me feel so much more com comfortable yeah, and confident. All that wealth of resources, planning yeah. for, for not only breastfeeding, but for your birthing journey as well with all the resources yes. like the birth plan and, you know, learning about those first 72 hours, the three golden hours, of course, as well. But we'll get more into that. So so on in a nutshell, then, what difference did the having access to the Thompson Method program have in your overall journey? Of course, baby is 11 months old now. So, so tell us yes. more. It has made such a difference. Um, I didn't have nipple pain. I wasn't having nipple trauma. I was able to actually tell the hospital, stop, I got this. Um, I'm following the Thompson method. They were good though, actually about abiding by that. Um, but it made me feel more confident. And then the baby, she just naturally latched on like within 10 minutes after having her and she sat and fed for two hours. They didn't disturb me. They didn't bother me for any unnecessary um, weights or temperature or anything like that. So you really had everything planned out and you communicated your wishes well. So, so yes. what would you say then con 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 considering your um, unique experiences with the Thompson Method, why would you say it's important to access education, um, in particular, the Thompson Method during pregnancy? I think it's important because um, the Thompson Method gives you a layout of what, what kind of, what to expect. Um, it helps um, you feel more confident about your choices as a woman when it comes to breastfeeding, um, about your body, about what, what should be done or what shouldn't be done and um, your consent, giving your consent to have certain things done to you. And it just makes you feel empowered as a woman to be able to tell them, you know, when you don't want something done to stop. 
Oh, absolutely. I got and of course, Dr. Robin herself has that unique perspective of working both in the hospital, hospital system and working along, alongside women in, in birthing at home as well. So she has all this knowledge to share and this wealth of, of resources to share with us. And of course, so much love, care and passion yes. as well. So we've learned things about consent, like you said, um, with vaginal examinations, for example, and yes. the APGAR score, you know, things that should, should every woman should know to be able to make informed decisions um, to, to, to really feel confident. Do you feel like you had yes. more confidence this time around? I definitely had more confidence. I felt more supported about about my decisions. Um, like I said, I was able to tell, um, I was able to tell my doctors actually ahead of time that, hey, this is what I want to do. This is, um, this is the method I'm following for breastfeeding. Um, I don't want this done or I want this done. Like I was able to, I, I was able to tell them what my wishes were. And um, it just made me feel empowered about being able to make my own decisions about my own body yes. and my baby, which is quite shocking, really, that we we um, we feel that way because it is our body, it is our baby, and it's our choice ultimately. Um, but that I think the process of being pregnant in general, um, yes. being a woman in this society, it does. It's easy to forget that we have that power of decision making, especially when it comes to birth, which is such a huge moment of our lives, I yes. think, whatever we, route we choose to go down. So tell me a little bit about um, your experience now compared to breastfeeding with your previous four babies. It is beautiful. I love every single moment. She, I have no problems with her latching. She, she feels comfortable. I feel comfortable. And it's, it's been pain free. I like I said, I had from day one, I exclusively breastfed and I'm still going on 11 months and she is still there's no stopping in sight right now. You're doing She's so still amazing. You said doing so good before we started teeth, speaking with teeth and everything, even with teeth. She's I mean, she just latches. I'm, I haven't had any pain. <laughs> yeah, it's so beautiful. Sorry for interrupting you. I thought think there was a delay there. I was, I was saying how when we were speaking before, you said how it can be it can be exhausting sometimes. But yes. I think those beautiful moments you speak of, it just just it's so rewarding and it does it does make it worth it, doesn't it? Of course, these moments won't last forever, and you really are doing such a special job. So thank you, congratulations. Especially when, especially when they get older. When they get older, too, with the breastfeeding, they, they the little smiles you get back and the little hands up by your face or, I mean, just the little things. Are so really true. And to be able to have that privilege of choice to choose when yes. to stop breastfeeding rather than being forced to stop because of uh, various complications that many women experience along the line. And, um, and I think having the access to knowledge, which allows you to trust your body, your baby, yes. um, and, and how the process works, I think that really allows you to really kick into those natural instincts, those beautiful yes. maternal instincts that we have. Um, I definitely didn't know how to use those at first. It, when my first four, I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea what to expect. I I just went along with what they told me, <laughs> and it just I and like I said, I felt like like it was my body. It was my fault. Like I couldn't breastfeed them. But after learning the Thompson method and preparing um, during pregnancy into um, giving birth. It gave me the confidence to and the education and the ability to voice how what I wanted, but also the beautiful moments of just her following her natural instincts and me following my natural instincts. And it just it's the best, best special gift ever. Oh, that really is very beautiful. So I'd I'd love to hear about your three golden hours then that's one of the things that I missed out on not um not understanding and and really learning about the importance of that first breastfeed tell me about that experience for you um as soon as I had her they put her right on top of me and literally within 10 minutes I mean it's like 10 minutes and she was already crawling already coming up to the breast already coming up to the nipple and she just 
naturally drew the nipple in and she was feeding um, off and on for about um, two, two hours. And they respected my decision when I told them that I didn't wanna be bothered. And when she was done, they took her, they weighed her and she like slept the whole time, <laughs> the yeah. whole time through the procedures from- That is so know. beautiful because it's exactly how Dr. Robin explains it. She, yeah. she, she suggests, of course, there's no rules at all. Um, every woman is unique as is their journey. And, and you do learn in the Thompson Method that there will be times where interventions will be necessary and they'll be very much appreciated. Um, but of course, that's why the power of learning about the APGAR score and why the first breastfeed is important, how you can implement that if you aren't able to enjoy those three golden hours. There's so there's so much to it, isn't there? There's so, there's so much yes. to help you feel ready and prepared, even for the unexpected. And you said there how baby fed on and off for two hours and then she slept through those little <laughs> tests and the weighing and everything else that needed to be yep. done. Perfect. Yep, she slept the whole time. It's so lovely. <laughs> Yep. She did so good. She, I, like I said, she lashed on the nurses were all like, Oh, she's doing so beautiful. She's doing such a great job. Good job, you guys. And she, they were even praising me for, um, you know, letting her come on naturally and that she just latched on and just was, you know, doing what she was supposed to be doing. So you really did a good job on. of advocating for yourself and your baby yes. and really sticking to that plan. And and yes. really giving yourself trust, you know, it's hard to trust the process, I think, um, in those early hours. So congratulations again, because that is such a beautiful story. So tell me about what it's like as a mum, even though you're an experienced mum with baby number five, what is it like to be able to reach out for support in the breastfeeding club? It is amazing, amazing the support you get. Um, when you come in and you ask questions, the information they give you um, is so vital. It makes you feel supported. It makes you feel like you have a whole community out there that um, respects you and your decisions, but also um, help advocate for breastfeeding. And even though there are ups and downs, but we still, um, with the support of the um administration and thompson method you you can overcome a whole lot like it's the support is just unbelievable yeah it's, it, it, it makes me emotional really to think about because <laughs> during those first few weeks i mean i i unfortunately didn't didn't have the program during pregnancy because i I was a fool. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I will be gentle with myself, but I really thought it would come naturally. And um, yeah. although I had planned to breastfeed, it was very difficult. But once once I finally got into the club, I I had the lovely Kelly, and it, it literally just changed. It changed everything for us overnight. We had to work through th through some things together, of course, in the following weeks. But like you say, the, the admin team, the Thompson Method community is that it's yes. a, as a whole. It just makes you feel like you're part of something. And yes. I mean, I'm, I'm very grateful that I'm still part of it now. And I'm very grateful that you are also a part of it and that we're sharing our, sharing our journeys together. Yes, I am so grateful for it. Like, um, like I was telling you before that I'm even have become part of the admin team. So, and... And, I really, and now you can um, you can pass that that sharing of love back yes. to women. And it is very special yes. the way that we learn, love, share and grow together as a community. It's, it's just wonderful. And of course, you'll be you'll be going through the academy and, and, and everything else that you'll be gaining and helping and, and sharing with other women and your community as well. And that is that is the awesomeness that is. The, I know the movement of the Thompson method. So, so Alina, what what would you say then to someone who was like myself, who who might be watching now, someone that's, that's maybe pregnant or possibly even breastfeeding? What would you say to them if they're sitting on the fence and they're just not sure they even need to purchase the program? And if they are pregnant, why do they need to purchase it now rather than waiting? Well, um, I've actually had um, ran into a couple of people and I've told them like, because I've seen them struggling and I'm like, you need to go look up the Thompson method for breastfeeding. They will help. They will support you. They will be there. It's like a big community and just tiny little adjustments is what makes the biggest difference. And it, it's just a beautiful moment then. And then you, you just got all this 
love and support for each other as a, like I said, like a community, but all over the world. Like you see that other people may be struggling too, which makes you feel like, okay, they work through it. I can work through it. So very true. And, and I think that's a good message to send that you're not alone. You know, it it certainly feels like you're in a very solitary, (laughs) solitary place right now, but we're with you and um, yeah, reach out. Alina, like you said, for for guidance, support, a little bit of love, a little bit of encouragement along the way, it makes a huge difference. Those gentle, slight adjustments can really change and it can make you enjoy breastfeeding. You might might not think that's possible, but it absolutely is, we promise. (laughs) It's very possible that you can enjoy it. So there we go, Alina. I mean, wow. I mean, I've been very excited about this because what a journey you've had. (laughs) Um, your, your eldest is 15 you've been busy getting her off to work this morning <laughs> and then little girl youngest 11 months so you have you have a lot you have a wealth of experience as a mother as it is so it's it's a privilege to be able to to help you share your journey and your experiences as a mom yes it's been so exciting like I mean like like I said the the beautiful moments you get those moments of when the baby turns and looks at you and just smiles at you and you know that she's okay and you're okay and it's just that special bonding that I didn't get with the first four like that absolutely not that we didn't bond but the breastfeeding is what made is make the bonding more special and of and course, there like are, I there said, are the women that aren't method. able to, but this it's the support, isn't it? Because you know yes. that you're trusted to just make that decision. However, you choose to nurture your baby is 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 up to you. We we just really want to be able to help women that want to and choose to breastfeed yes. to do that in, I mean, in in the most enjoyable way possible. <laughs> but it's like you said, the bond is is beautiful, yes. and the nutrients, the the immunity is it's just so magical. <laughs> Yes. And being prepared. That's, that's what helped me a lot as a, some people aren't like, me, you know, like you said, all unique, but for me, knowing what I was going into while I was pregnant is what really helped me a lot because I was able to tell them what, um, what I wanted, um, that I want the baby on me that, you know, I want him to be left alone, that procedures can wait that aren't necessary, you know, and having that knowledge of the EPGAR score too, is what really helped too, because I knew my baby is fine. She scored nine the first time and nine the second time. So she was, she was perfectly able Everything to go right on and meant to be and and you were yeah. able to I'm, I'm very glad that you were able to to implement those key principles from the very first breastfeed how magical is that so there you have it there you have it everyone watching that is Alina's very special journey and as you can hear the the importance of preparation during pregnancy is so that you can make informed decisions based on your unique journey and, and, and Alina just said it just then she was able to apply what she'd learn and communicate that to her team so that she could plan for her, what she wanted, her wishes and her journey. And if you haven't been able to purchase during pregnancy, don't feel like it's the end. Reach out to us, get in touch, ask those questions. And please, please do not feel like you're a failure. Please do not be hard on yourself. Be gentle. You are doing a wonderful, wonderful job. You are very special to be here. So thank you so much, Alina, for sharing your wonderful journey. And thank, thank you, you for having me. Thank you. Bye. There we have it. That was the very lovely Alina sharing her journey with you. I hope you've enjoyed this story. If you'd like to hear more of us and more of our journeys or learn more about the Thompson Method, then please do pop a comment below and we will get in touch. We will see you next week. But I will be speaking to Dr. Robin Thompson about another topical issue. Take care.